Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to show you a song I played on my Instagram profile, Give Thanks with a Grateful Heart in the key of E flat. So I did some interesting things in that song, including some key changes. I know you're going to like it. So let's take a listen to it and let me know in the comments as to what you think and I'm going to break it down. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, so let's get straight into it now. So I know you like that. We're in the key of E flat as mentioned and I started out with... And what you may have observed is that the melody is playing consistently throughout from beginning to end even on key changes that made it a bit more interesting but I'm going to show you everything. So that's the first chord. Right hand and the left hand. So let me just show you the melody that I did. Right? So let's do that. So the, so the melody I'm playing is that. So what I did here, I wanted to get to C. So how can I play some grace note that will take me to C? You could simply play. That's very common, but what I normally do, which has become a very... It has become a part of my playing style. I normally do stuff like this. So this, to get to the C, I started with the tone above the note I want to get to. And my second finger starts it. So that's the D. And then my third finger moves up a semitone. Right? Then I slide my third finger down a semitone and then my second finger plays the note I want to get to. So in real time. Right? So same thing for the B flat. You want to get to the B flat. So go a tone above the note you want to get to which is C, so the second finger plays the C, and then semitone above that, the third finger plays it, and it slides down, and then we hit the second. So it's basically second, third, slide down, second. Slide down with the third, then second. Right? So let's show the cards. So over that we have this in the left hand. Right? So we did that same procedure. Right? That's over the six. Then we have I just added that extra flair to it. That's the normal, the normal melody, but we I just modified it a bit. Same progression, right? The four. Right? So this is like an additional melody. This is the main melody, but I emphasize this. Right? So 
So this is where I went next. Then we're going to right and has that. The left hand has this. We'll go back here. Then, you know, we go to the flat seven. But I did something on the flat seven, some drop two movement on the flat seven, which I know you're going to like it. So that's what I did there. So it's some drop twos. So on the flat seven, then we have. Then we go to the four. So we have. So we're going to play this. The first one. That's the left hand. More drop twos. Second one. And then we have. Then we need to get to. So before we get to that, we need to connect it. We're going to play some passing chords. You know I'm a little play. But I'm going to show you a, a, a fresher way to play that. So. Right? So. We have that. The right hand plays this. The left hand is playing this. So we have that jazzy sound. So this card is in the right hand and this is over the seven. So tell me, tell me which one you prefer, leave in the comments and let me know which one you prefer, the original basic way or the fresh way. Right? So we have that. So we have that lick. I know you like it. So we're going to go very slow. So we want to get to this passing chord before we get to the six. Right? So I'm playing a lick. When I hit the F, that's when the card comes in. So when I'm at the F, I find when I'm at the B flat, I find it easier when I slide down the third finger. I don't know if you can find another way to do it, but for me, when I slide down, it's very easy. So just practice it. So we need to go here. So after this, so we're going to the seven, some open chords. And people, you don't have to play fat chords for your, for your chords to sound beautiful. I'm, as you notice, I'm just playing three notes, three, three simple notes. And if you really look at it, it's two notes because these are octaves. So, simple stuff can sound good. It all depends on how you voice it and how you use them. So, 
So here is what we're, we're on the one. So normally you would hear. But I didn't want to play that. Right? I'll go to the two. So that's the right hand. And you notice we have the melody going throughout consistently. The left hand. And here's the interesting part because the key changes from E flat to C sharp. The melody remains same. That movement from the, the two, the F of E flat, upper semitone, takes me to the four, which is F sharp of C sharp. So we're now at the five of C sharp, which is A flat. So we have that over the five. Right hand, left hand. Then we have this chord. If you want to do that? If you want to do that? So either this, or you can add some more notes to make it a bit uglier. So what, what you think you'd want to go next? Based on melody, it sounds as if you want to go here. all about the C sharp but we're not doing that we're gonna change the key again so so we're gonna jump to the B flat and guys I know you may want you may be wondering how how am I changing keys like that and it sounds as if it flows but guess what I break down all of that in my melodic piano, piano course so if you want to learn how the different keys are connected and how you can change keys like that you can check out that course and I explain every, everything as it relates to how to change keys fluently. So we're here. We're in B flat. So we're at the three of B flat. So we're at. Four, five, six, going back to C sharp, right? Back to the five. And we're now going to the B. So it depends on what you want to see this as. You could see this as the the flat seven of C sharp or you could see it as the four of F sharp right so I would say I'm in F sharp now so I'm now going to the C sharp which could be the five of F sharp and I'm now resolving on the one So this is interesting because it depends on how you want to view it because I you know the melody note would suggest that I'm in B because the melody note ends on the one but in this case I'm on the E flat so you could say that one I'm in the sixth of F sharp given that I just borrowed from F, F sharp. could say that I ended on the six or you could say that you know he went back to E flat that's where he started but it could be but given that you know that the melody note is normally ending on the one you could say that well he's in B flat but he just ended on the four of B flat right but the interesting thing, it could be anyone because of this middle here creates a sound that 
it just sounds you're not sure where I am at. This middle piece here. So that card is basically this. And I tend to use a lot of these dissonant chords with dissonant notes in the middle. Right? So guys, I hope that you really like this tutorial. And if you have anything you want to see, you can just leave it in the comment and let me know what you think about it, right? So until next time.